Hey everybody, Chris Ward here. Welcome back to the Eagle Reality Podcast. Um, talking about real estate careers and real estate career talk. Always good to help in. And really these are growth hacks. Uh, I, I, I hope they can apply to every business. Uh, some of them apply, are more uh, applicable to, on a macro level, to a lot of industries. Some of these uh, podcasts are not going to be applicable at all uh, to what you're going through. But this one I feel like today is. This one, honestly, we're talking about metrics. Metrics, data, analysts, um, analyzing your your metrics, tracking your business, tracking um, where your business comes from, tracking what your budget is used for. Um, it, it, it's really, when we break down metrics, at least in the way we're using it, in real estate, we're talking about just tracking your day and then being able to use what you track on the daily to predict your future. Um, I first really I first really got this concept, I mean, it's, it's, it's really easy, like it's common sense uh, to track your business, to, you, to kind of track your day, to mark down, you know how many appointments you've gone on, um, uh, how, how many if you got listing, how many listings you got that day, did you have any closings that day, did you get any new leads that day, like all of that really makes sense to do and we all need to be doing it, but we all don't and it's amazing how many of us do not just track our business on a day to day basis. Um, and I say daily because we really should be doing it daily. If you can do it weekly, I, that's better than nothing. If you can do it monthly, I'll say it's better than nothing, but at the same time, I bet that's really hard. You're gonna lose track of exactly where your business is, where it's coming from, what you did that day. If you're already diligent about your calendar on a day-to-day -day basis, then you might as well be diligent with your metric tracking, tracking on a day-to-day -day basis as well. Anyway, this concept, was really harped on, I guess, is a better, not like introduced, because like I said, it's kind of a common sense thing, a lot of people talk about it, uh, but it was really harped on when I did, went with a conference with Alex Sharfin and the uh, Alex Sharfin Institute and doing my CRB designation and then some other online uh, conferences and, and, and material that he put out. And he really talked about just how he loves, like in love with metrics, in love with real-time metric tracking to be able to predict his business in the future. He tells a story actually talking about how he would he will sit at the desk in his office and have like three screens all going simultaneously with real-time metrics from all his employees and staff. Just going across the street and he'll just sit there and watch. He just loves it, like just watching real-time metrics. I think that, and while I don't, do that like I can I kind of can see the thrill like my kind of personality like I'm kind of built numbers wise more analytical to really love gathering data seeing data and then being able to take that data analyze it and go okay here's what's gonna happen I, I know that if I have five listing appointments today I'm going to probably get three of them I am on a batting average of getting three per five, four per five, five out of five. I don't know what your average is, but you won't know what your average is if you're not simply marking them down. If you're not simply marking down how many appointments you had that day, if you're not simply marking down how many calls it took you to get those many appointments, how many emails, how many texts, how many, um, you know, how many came from Facebook ads, how many came uh, from your sphere, how many came from a referral from your sphere. If you're not tracking, you're not gonna know. If you're not taking the time out of each day, and I'm talking like five minutes. So basically, there is probably tons of spreadsheets. I know Tom Ferry puts out uh, some spreadsheets that you can download to be able to track. I literally just open an Excel, Excel spreadsheet. I will email it to you. If you send me a message, if you email me, chris at eaglerealtysc.com, or you can DM or instant uh, message me or Facebook message me at Chris Ward. Uh, I'm sorry, on Facebook at Chris Ward BIC. If you message me from there or go to our career site, you can message straight from our uh, career website, discovereaglerealty.com. 
or if you just DM or direct message me um, or uh, from, from Instagram, from Twitter, wherever, um, our at Eagle Realty SC handles on our social platforms. If you send me a message, I will send you my spreadsheet. I will email you my spreadsheet that has my headings and everything on it. Because this is what I really believe, that most of us do not start because we have to create. I'm literally opening a spreadsheet and putting some headers and then just on the side column put, you know, day one of, or whatever day it is, or putting April, one through, oh, oh, oh shoot, we're in May. So <laughs> putting May, May one through 31. And then to the side you have the headers and the, like, I think people don't start because they feel like the work to set up that spreadsheet is like mundane and too much and we could be doing other things, which is true, but think about how much bigger your business could be if you're tracking. How much bigger your business can be, and let me give you a real example. You know it takes you 10 calls to get five listing appointments to get three listing contracts. If you do that consistently and you can track that and you can say, boom, that's my batting average, then what happens if you make 15 calls instead of 10? So you get 15 calls, now you know you're going to increase your listing appointments by 30 or by 50% because you increased your number of calls by 50%. Thus, you're going to increase the number of listings by 50%. Now you can build your goals. Now you can build on top of what you already know to be true. And if you want to increase, you can numerically, metrically, and like real data, solid, black and white, know what you need to do to increase appointments and thus increase listing contracts for for you to sell like how, how awesome is that how cool is that that you can basically have your crystal ball based on real data that you've collected over your career it helps tremendously in goal setting for the next year and it helps tremendously in knowing exactly what's going on in your business. It helps tremendously to know that I have these number of lead sources, here's my lead sources, and I know I got 20% of my leads from my Facebook ads. I know I got 60% of new business from my sphere and referral group. Like I know that I got 5% from um, a couple open houses I did. Whatever it may be, you can track and you should be tracking everything. Real, real metrics on a day-to-day -day basis is just a staple of being a good business owner. Now, we've had a couple podcasts talking about that real estate is your business, and if you're going to run it like you own the business, you are the CEO and the janitor, you need to run your real estate business as a realtor like it's your own company. And if you owned a business, you do if you're a business owner then stuff like metric tracking metrics and, and analyzation of your metrics to predict where your business is going is a very very real part of your job it is a very real and necessary part if you're gonna call yourself a CEO on your Instagram profile, if you are going to call yourself a business entrepreneur as a real as, as a real estate agent, then doing the things that business owners do, like tracking the metrics for their business and, and their company, then this has to be a must on your daily business. If you cannot do that, if you really feel like you can't, you need to bring on an admin assistant that does this for you. It's that important. It is really that important to have. So, to sum up basically this whole session here, talking about metrics, it is like the most basic, fundamental, like just primal thing your business should be doing, that you should be doing in your business to make sure that not only you know what your budget dollars, what's producing, how you need to trim it, what's being done in real time, how many appointments you're going on, you can look at your month, you can see if you're hitting goals, is how we back, you know, how we how we are um, balancing what we're doing against what's really happened. 
that's all good. That's all the now. You can go back and look, you know, and see where you've been. You're going to see your business grow. You're going to see what you've done and what's working. And then you're going to be able to tweak in the future your crystal ball. Metrics is your crystal ball. You'll be able to tweak in your future how to grow your business. You're going to be able to tweak where should I be putting the most of my marketing dollars. You're going to be able to tweak where should I be putting most of my time and communication where the business is coming from. You're going to be able to see all of this. And the headers can be matching whatever matches up with your business. Like I said, I'll email you my spreadsheet. That doesn't mean your spreadsheet needs to look like that. You might have additional categories. You, I might have categories that you really don't need. The punchline is that you need to do it. You got to do it. So I say that, go do it right now. Build a spreadsheet, start tracking today. I don't care about yesterday, start tracking today. Well, you can remember yesterday. I don't care about last year. <laughs> start tracking your metrics. ASAP right now. Get off the podcast and go do it. Thanks.